Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm finally back and I'm really gonna try my best to make these a regular thing once again. Uh, I'm sorry it's been so long, but yeah, we're gonna jump right back in with the letter Q, which is where we left off. Now I was racking my brains a bit about what to do for Q, um, but luckily a good friend of ours in Cornwall came to my uh, help and came up with this suggestion. So I can't take full credit for this, but today I'm going to be talking about Quercus. Now that may ring a bell for some of you, for those that it doesn't, I'm going to give you a clue. So Quercus is the Latin name for oak. So we've got a lovely oak tree here and this genus contains over 500 different species. Uh, but instead of talking about that today, I thought what I would focus on is the oak tree in a historical sense. So what it represents, particularly in the British culture. The English oak, Quercus robur, resonates a strength and solidarity, an icon in the British countryside. The oak tree was worshipped by druids. Marriages happened under its branches and our first kings wore coronets of oak leaves. There really is no tree more closely entwined with our culture. A symbol of strength and survival, good luck and celebration, the oak tree symbolises key moments in British history, being kept alive in pubs throughout the country. There are few Brits who have not drunk a pint in a royal oak. The oak played a vital role in everyday life. Its acorns providing a food for domesticated animals, bark for tanning leather, branches for fire, and of course its most prized and valued possession its timber, one of the most hardy and durable woods in the world. Now it was a particular demand with the British Navy. Referred to as the walls of old England, the oak boats literally fueled the expansion of the British Empire, transporting sailors around the globe, withstanding storm after storm and some of the roughest seas, yet some of the ships still live to tell the tale. No wonder why oak is still a common commodity of today. But beyond the historic associations, the oak is so much more. Did you know an open grown English oak has six times the leaf cover of woodland trees? That's 360 degrees of habitat, niches and cover for wildlife. The oak supports more life forms than any other native tree, including over 300 species of lichens and 800 species of insects as well as tree holes and crevices for bats and birds, and its acorns producing over 10 million in a lifetime, each containing a seed, as well as being food for a variety of animals from mammals to birds, especially in the run up to winter. So only about one of these a year may actually be successful in growing into a full grown oak. A mature oak also produces 700,000 leaves every year that break down in autumn, forming a rich leaf mold on the ground, the perfect habitat for fungi. The oak is one of our longest living trees, easily reaching over a thousand years old. Now, as the saying goes, it grows for 300 years, it rests for 300 years and then spends another 300 years gracefully dying. Now when it does grow old, it retracts and leaves behind a hollow cylinder that is even more strong and resilient than before. And a fun fact for you, this inspired the 18th century civil engineer John Smeaton to revolutionise the lighthouse design. Unfortunately, however, Britain has lost the majority of its ancient oaks. They are dying out. Over the years, with wars and invasion, old oaks were the easiest to axe and burn. And now, in the era of industrialised agriculture, thousands upon thousands of these trees and hedgerows have been removed from our countryside, including our ancient oaks. An unacknowledged catastrophe, yet it is still happening. So the oak tree, along with many other species of trees and plants, are really extraordinary and actually really dynamic organisms. There's so much more going on inside and their root systems than is visible to our human eye. I read that in 71 days, an oak tree, a single oak tree, released over 230,000 litres of oxygen into the atmosphere. That's enough to keep me alive for a year. So they really, really do need protection. So I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode. I hope you've learned something new and I will see you next week. Hopefully, I'll try. Uh, well, I will be talking about something beginning with the letter R.